In a world where creativity knows no bounds, some of the best Mario Kart custom designs the world has ever seen come together in the ultimate finals. The roster is set, and we shall begin with the first group. And we have number one, Dusty Miles, 112.43 grams. Number 36, Beavis and Butthead, 109 grams. Number 10, Flip Gambino, 80.10 grams. And number 20, Arlo, 106.5 grams. Now I would definitely say that Flip Gambino and Arlo especially are two rivals of sorts because they did go back and forth a little bit before and they dethroned each other as undefeated racers of which now we have none. No racers at this point going into the ultimate finals are still undefeated. Some of them are close, but close doesn't get the job done. Flip Gambino, however, does currently have the record for the fastest time right now, that being a 14.09. If he stays straight the entire time, which he's struggling to do here, and he doesn't even get first place, he may not be undefeated anymore, but he can still hold on to the fastest time for now. So if he wins the whole thing, he will at least have two big accomplishments under his belt, not necessarily getting the hat trick, but the next best thing. Right now though, because he did spin around, Flip Gambino finished in second, and Dusty Miles, who raced all the way back on the first day of the tournament, is now here as well, and they take the first win. In this second race, Dusty Miles is trying to stay ahead of Arlo at least, but now they have to worry about Flip Gambino who has a decent sized lead over everybody else. And he gets closer to the last turn and nobody is there to stop him right now, but as long as he can stay straight that'll continue to remain true and that is exactly what happens as he finishes with a 14.86. So who ended up finishing in second? It looks like it was Arlo and it was, I'm pretty sure, that angle kind of threw me off for a second. But they did finish in second, so now because of that, and because Flip finished in first that race, he now has the lead for the highest amount of points. Now the top two will move on to the last round of this tournament, where two more spots will be filled in the next group. And right now it's looking like it'll be in the favor of Flip Gambino and Dusty Miles. But Arlo could make some comeback, same with Beavis and Butthead. There's still two races left, so anything can happen. But Flip Gambino is consistently in the lead for most of the race, so as long as he can stay straight in that last stretch, he'll be okay. And he did stay straight again, so he takes that win, and Arlo finishes in second again. So that could spell trouble for Dusty Miles. It will probably be a little bit back and forth. Meanwhile, Beavis and Butthead just made it a lot harder for themselves to move on to the last round. We'll take a look at the points again in a second as heat number four begins. Flip Gambino currently has 13. Dusty Miles has nine. Arlo only has eight. So it really could be either one's game. But Arlo will need to finish in front of Dusty Miles in order to stay in this competition. And if he only gets one more point than Dusty Miles does, we will have a tiebreaker in the ultimate finals. Meanwhile, Flip Gambino is pretty much set to go at this point. And he finishes in first yet again, so he will be moving on to the last round. And Arlo does finish in front of Dusty Miles. Not only that, but he finished two spots ahead of him. So it's entirely possible that Arlo just snuck in that last moment there, and he did! Flip Gambino and Arlo are moving on to the last round. And who will join them in this second group? It could be Blue Line Racing at 113.10 grams. It could be Fast Turd at 110 grams. It could be Numskull at 112.01 grams. Or it could be the infamous RAF at 91.48 grams. Now this is definitely an interesting situation like it has been up to this point because an RAF racer 
is a racer who had a slot but did not necessarily fill it. So they're represented by a ghost racer, if you will. And even if the RAF racer wins the whole thing, they can't actually win. So let's say they finish in first all the way to the end, the win will not be given to them. But we will adopt a different solution in the future should this happen again, so that other racers who originally didn't qualify can fill in the spots that RAF racers would have. In this first race though, Numskull did have a decent sized lead, but then som somehow lost it part way through, and Blue Line Racing finished in first, followed by Fast Herd, and it looks like Blue Line knocked over the camera slightly, and I think Numskull actually finished in fourth, and he did! I'm sure if Numskull ends up losing to this RAF racer after all this time, there will be plenty of unhappy campers out there, considering what Numskull had to go through to get here. So if that happens, once again, justice for Numskull in the comments. Meanwhile, Blue Line Racing, who took that first win, won the previous custom mail-in tournament, and I'm sure they would like to do it again as a back-to-back -back champion. And right now it's looking like a possibility because they won that first race, they're in first again, and they win twice in a row. They are not undefeated up to this point, but they do have a sweep in possibility right now. They do not have the fastest time at this point, which is still under Flip Gambino's name. But Blue Line just needs one more win here, and they automatically move on to the final round. And it's hard to say who will likely join him at this point, because every other racer right now is tied with four points. Which is definitely good for Numskull after that first race. But now they have to finish in front of both Fast Herd and RAF in order to keep their hopes alive, and it looks like that may happen because they're almost keeping up with Blue Line right now. In the last turn before the merger, Blue Line is out in front, but he spins around, and Numskull takes advantage and takes the win. So while Blue Line isn't guaranteed necessarily to move on automatically, it's still looking pretty good and Numskull desperately needed that win in order to keep in front of the other two racers. And now he has nine points, while the others only have five or six respectively. So now Numskull just gave himself some cushion to increase his odds to move on to the final round alongside Blue Line Racing. Which I'm sure a lot of fans of Numskull are happy about now, especially with that RAF racer still in this right now. But Blue Line now has the lead in the last heat before the final round, and he's looking to stay that way as long as he can stay straight. And he definitely is. Blue Line Racing is in the final round once again two years in a row, looking to be a back-to-back -back champion. He does have some major competition, including Numskull, Arlo, and of course Flip Gambino. So we'll see how that plays out in the final round which will now begin. This is definitely a nail biter. No more RAF racers which I'm sure the comment section will be relieved to know. And now we have four entries here. No one is undefeated. All four of them were at one point. All, actually no, Blue Line Racing was close. But not quite. But now Flip Gambino currently has the lead, trying to stay in front of Blue Line Racing, trying to deny him a back-to-back -back championship. Flip Gambino does sometimes spin around at the last second, which other racers have taken advantage of, but he doesn't do that here. So Flip Gambino has one win already, just two more, and he could automatically be the champion in just three heats of the final round. He almost gets the fastest time again, but he still has it under his name, so as long as he stays in the lead, he can get the fastest time and the championship. But here we go, heat number two. Flip Gambino has the edge right now, but Blue Line is right on his tail. Not even a half car length behind. 
But now as we get into these turns, all four are staying relatively close together. In the lane mergers, Arlo and Blue Line are right up against each other, which slowed them both down significantly, while Flip Gambino takes a bigger lead as a result. And now he goes into that last turn, into the final stretch before the finish. He is staying straight once again, almost spun around, but he does finish in first yet again, and it looks like Blue Line might have just barely finished in front of Numskull again. What time did Flip Gambino get? 14.86, that's a little bit slower, but he still does have the fastest time. Flip Gambino has two wins right now. If he gets first place in this next race, he will automatically be crowned this tournament's champion. Right now, Blue Line is trying to keep that from happening automatically at the very least. He wants the, this to be a competition until the very end, but around that turn, he lost a lot of speed. And now Flip Gambino has the lead, trying to stay in front so he can get that championship. It's within his sights. And the bigger lead he has, the better odds he will have of getting that championship. He goes around that last stretch. He's going down the hill, across the finish line, and Flip Gambino is the Mario Kart Mail-In Tournament Champion. Before the fourth heat even happens, Flip Gambino takes that title. So Blue Line Racing will not be a back-to-back -back champion, but the fact that they got to the final round in the last video twice in a row is one of the biggest accomplishments I've ever seen. So now it's just a victory lap for Flip Gambino. But the question is, will anyone be able to stop him from getting a sweep in the last round of the Ultimate Finals? These are some of the best racers in the entire competition. So we'll see if anyone can catch him. Right now, going towards that last turn, no one has caught him, but he did fishtail a little bit. Will anyone be able to catch him as a result? Blue Line is trying to, but they both spin around backwards. And Flip Gambino gets a sweep in the last round of the Ultimate Finals. He holds on to the fastest time, and Flip Gambino is your Mario Kart Mail-In Tournament Champion. A wonderful attempt by all the other racers, but Flip Gambino will take this. Congratulations to Flip Gambino. Your prize will soon be mailed to you, which will be a $150 Amazon gift card, I believe. But quite the design, Luigi d gets a W instead of an L this time. And yup, that gift card is coming your way, Flip Gambino. Congratulations. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you all in the next tournament.